very flexible. These motions of the structure are demonstrations induced by the pilot's intentional activation of controls. The modern airplane is a remarkable, efficiently designed structure. It must be strong enough to endure and ensure many different loading conditions, yet to perform well it must be light. Hence, as you have just witnessed, it is inherently flexible. Now, flexibility implies that the structure will deform under load, and the deformation will modify the aerodynamic load distributions. The T-tail of a C-5A airplane is undergoing anti-symmetric flutter. The tufts help to visualize flow patterns. Symmetric flutter here arises by a change in the stabilizer pitch stiffness. Flutter of the C-5A airplane wing indicates, obviously, that flutter must be avoided in design. Transport airplane flutter shows that many vibrational modes are interacting and need to be simulated by both model and analysis. This flutter model of an SST type wing is unique in that its structural elements are scaled replicas of the full scale wing and even includes wet fuel tanks. An F-14 fire model experiences wing flutter. External stores or fuel tanks change the elastic behavior of an F-111 wing to cause flutter. Mathematical analysis of complex aerospace structures can be simulated on a computer and the vibration modes displayed. The sample modes displayed are those of a space shuttle vehicle and represented by a network of finite elements. Aeroelastic behavior in full-scale flight may be rather dramatic as these scenes shown earlier attest. Note that the complete airplane responds to the pilot's abrupt movement of the ailerons alone. This light aircraft is in a severe tail flutter condition, as photographed by a chase airplane. Fortunately, this was a modified airplane and is not a production model. Speeds and performance of light aircraft increase. Much more attention must be given to flutter and aeroelastic behavior. A high performance sailplane of German design having stiff fiberglass covered wings exhibits classical aileron flutter. The aileron motion couples with wing bending. This flutter was eliminated by increasing the mass balance of the ailerons. The potential power and destructiveness of aeroelastic instability is no more vividly demonstrated than by the destruction by flutter in November of 1940 of the beautiful Tacoma Narrows suspension bridge. Winds of only 40 knots led to response and failure of this massive steel and concrete but aerodynamically inadequate structure. 